In an infographic published on October 16, 2024, the Acquisition and Sustainment Office of the Undersecretary of Defense highlighted the substantial U.S. aid to Ukraine and the consequential investments in the domestic defense industrial base across various states. The assistance not only aims to strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities against Russian aggression, but also represents a massive financial commitment to the U.S. defense sector, exceeding $51.2 billion to date. This figure is anticipated to surpass $60 billion once all funds are fully allocated, acting as a significant economic driver for the American defense industry and impacting thousands of jobs nationwide. The published data sheds light on the extensive mobilization of funds, which encompasses both replacement obligations and direct investments within the defense industry. Leading the states in receiving these funds is Arkansas, benefiting from $4.25 billion, followed by Alabama, $3.31 billion, Pennsylvania, $2.83 billion, and Arizona, $2.72 billion. These investments not only address the immediate military needs of Ukraine, but also enhance the production infrastructure and rapid response capabilities of the U.S. defense industry. The U.S. military assistance to Ukraine covers a wide array of military equipment critical for modern warfare. Over 200 155mm howitzers and more than 3,155mm artillery rounds have been sent to bolster Ukrainian artillery forces. The HIMARS multiple rocket launcher system, along with guided multiple launch rocket system, GMLRS munitions, has proven vital for long-range precision strikes, allowing Ukraine to effectively target key Russian military assets. Additionally, the provision of over 3,000 Stinger missiles and 10,000 Javelin missiles has significantly enhanced Ukraine's anti-air and anti-armor defense capabilities. The introduction of air defense systems like NASAMS, 12 units, offers a crucial protective layer against aerial and drone threats. Behind the statistics are advanced military programs and high-tech weapon systems developed by leading U.S. defense firms. Lockheed Martin, with facilities in Arkansas and Alabama, manufactures the HIMARS, M270 launchers, and the Javelin anti-tank missile. General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, GDOTS, produces 155mm ammunition components in Pennsylvania and Texas, while BAE Systems manufactures armored multi-purpose vehicles, AMPVs, in Pennsylvania. Raytheon, based in Arizona, is responsible for the AMROM missile, an essential component of air defense. Other U.S. defense facilities also contribute to this effort. Northrop Grumman, with operations in California and West Virginia, produces ARGMER missiles, while NAMO in Florida makes 155mm propellant charges. The Winchester facility in Missouri focuses on small arms ammunition production. Additionally, U.S. Army facilities, like the Watervliet Arsenal in New York, play a vital role by manufacturing 155mm cannons. While these investments are concentrated in certain states, they indirectly support the entire U.S. military supply chain, which spans all 50 states, each contributing to weapon systems and support equipment designated for Ukraine. Some states, like South Carolina and Washington, show lower funding allocations due to a current lack of demand for specific systems, such as aircraft. An additional $4.9 billion has been earmarked for direct industrial investments to bolster production capacity for essential defense infrastructure. This includes the production of critical components like solid rocket motors, energy storage solutions, and microelectronics. Furthermore, $500 million has been invested in strategic materials, while $330 million is allocated to enhancing kinetic capabilities, highlighting a proactive approach to ensuring supply chain resilience. The U.S. military aid to Ukraine serves as a strategic support to Kiev while simultaneously revitalizing the U.S. defense industry. The billions invested have provided economic boosts to several states and strengthened national industrial capacity. However, as the U.S. presidential elections approach, uncertainties loom regarding the continuity of this assistance. A potential reduction or halt could weaken Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression and adversely impact the U.S. defense sector. Companies in this industry, which have ramped up production to meet Ukrainian needs, may face excess capacity and supply chain disruptions. Moreover, Replenishing U.S. stockpiles depleted by shipments to Ukraine could jeopardize the United States' military readiness. The political decisions regarding aid to Ukraine will undoubtedly have significant repercussions for both international security and the U.S. economy and defense sector.